In today's video, I'm going to be turning my low-end laptop into a Chromebook. We're going to be using something today called Chrome OS Flex, which basically allows you to install Chrome OS on any system you want. So we're going to be downloading and installing it on the Chromebook, seeing how lightweight it is. And we're going to be attempting to install Minecraft on there and seeing if it gives us a good FPS boost being such a lightweight operating system for low-end PCs. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe down below. Ah, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so to install Chrome OS Flex, what we need to do is we need to open up Google Chrome. You will need Google Chrome. You have to use a Chromium based browser. So once you're here, go to this website. I'll leave the link to it in the description down below. It's basically a Chrome extension. So you just go ahead and add that to your Chrome. And here it is right here. So you just go ahead and open that up. Insert a USB into your computer. I've inserted a blank 16 gigabyte drive. So just press get started. Then press select model from a list. Then once you get to this screen, go and scroll down until you find Google Chrome OS Flex. And we're going to get the developer version because that's the one that's well, pretty much the only one we can get. So let's go ahead and press continue. Select our USB here, press continue and then create now. So what this is doing is basically downloading Chrome OS Flex and burning it to our USB. Pretty simple install. Don't need to use Rufus or anything like that. We don't have to mess around with ISOs. It does this completely all for you. So yeah, sit back and I'll be back once it's finished. All right, so once your USB has been made, you just need to go ahead and insert it into the laptop that you're gonna be converting into a Chromebook. Power on the laptop and press the boot selection option key. For me, that is F12, so I'm just pressing that now. And select USB storage. And here we go, Chrome OS Flex is starting up. So the installer is pretty simple. If you've ever had a Chromebook before, it's pretty similar to that. So you just press on get started. You can try Chrome OS first if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and install it. Now you do need to know if you do press install, this will completely erase your hard drive. So make sure you back up all your files and all your important stuff. But for this laptop, I'm just gonna go ahead and install it. I've got nothing on here that I wanna keep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press install. And now we're just in a waiting game, really. We're waiting for Chrome OS to install, watching this circle spin round. But yeah, I'll be back once it's finished. All right, so it looks like it's finished. The laptop has now turned itself off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. And here we go, Chrome OS Flex has come up on screen. This is basically just like a Chromebook. So just get started, connect to your Wi-Fi, and then just go ahead and accept the terms and conditions set it up for you and then you will need to log in to your google account in order to use this you can browse as guests but it's very limited so i'm just going to go ahead and sign in with my google account here and then you just got some miscellaneous options there's google assistant built in which is pretty cool but yeah i'm just going to skip all that and here we are on the chrome os desktop so it's pretty much just like a regular chromebook we've got all our stuff down here but yeah let's get switched over to my capture card and try and install minecraft on this thing all right, and here we are on Chrome OS Flex. So yeah, first things I've noticed is it's really snappy. If I just wanna go on Google Chrome and search something real quick, it's pretty much instant. And yeah, it's just a really lightweight operating system, really good for low-end PCs if you wanna kick some new life into a random PC you've just found. This is a great way to do it. You've got all of your apps here. This is all the stuff that comes pre-installed. So it's basically just all Google stuff really, like Docs, Sheets, slides and it's also got google drive integration got youtube and stuff here there's even messages as well which is really cool you can probably send messages on here and then if we just go down here we've got linux apps which we're going to take a look at in a minute to try and get our games running google maps settings calculator it's all really good and if you click on something like calculator it opens pretty quickly and yeah it's just really good for productivity if you guys have ever used a Chromebook before, it's pretty much the exact same experience, which is really cool how they've managed to get this working on basically any system with this Chrome OS Flex thing. And now let's get to the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go to settings and enable Linux. So to do that, just go to the developer section on the left here and turn on Linux development environment. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. I'm guessing this is pretty much just like setting it up on a regular Chromebook, but we'll see. I haven't actually seen any videos on YouTube before of people getting games running on Chrome OS Flex. So it'd be interesting to see if it works or not. 
Now, an important point to mention is Linux does run inside a virtual machine on Chrome OS. So that might make our performance slightly worse, but we'll see how it goes. But the main disadvantage of Chrome OS Flex is there's no Android app support. And that's something Google's made very clear saying that Chrome OS Flex is just like a stripped down, strictly Google operating system. And if you want to run Android apps, you've unfortunately got to buy a proper Chromebook for that. They could literally just add it. I mean, Microsoft have done it with Windows 11. So I guess it's just, they've got to sell Chromebooks somehow, I guess. But if we did have Android support on here, I'd probably get Pojav Launcher and see how it runs on this computer. But unfortunately, we're just going to have to settle with Linux and Java edition. Oh dear, we've had an error. All right, so despite our error, it still looks like we've got Linux development environment turned on. There's no um, off button or anything here. So yeah, it looks like it's set up. It's just we've got an error opening it, which is quite weird. If we try and open up the Linux terminal here, doesn't seem to want to work. Very strange. All right, so we're going to try and get Minecraft this way. We're going to try and go on their website and just download the standard Debian version and see if we can open that. Okay, here we go. So as always, if we just copy and paste this into our Linux files, we should hopefully be able to run it. Right, so doesn't look like this is gonna work. I can't seem to access my Linux files, so I'm just trying to run it as normal, but it's just stuck on this and we can't do anything. All right, so since Chrome OS was a massive fail, we're gonna use something called FidoS. Now FidoS is basically Chrome OS Flex, but it supports Android apps and Linux might work on here as well. So it's worth a try. So to get Fido S, just go to their website. I'll leave the link to it in the description. Just press on download here. And yeah, it goes through all the system requirements here. I think I should be okay, but we'll see. So yeah, mine is probably this one. And yeah, just download it. It should just be a OneDrive. And yeah, just download it. All right, so once it's installed, just drag it to your desktop. And yeah, just go ahead and extract it with WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you use to extract your archives. So once it's extracted, open up good old Rufus and plug in your USB that you just used for your Chrome OS Flex. And then just select your FidoS.image file here. And yeah, just create the USB. Press OK to this message. OK again, should just wipe the USB and install FidoS. And then we'll try this on our laptop. Hopefully it works. So booting off the USB and I get this error. Yes, it's just what you want. So uh, yeah, my computer just keeps restarting. It won't work. As you can guess, I'm on my eBay PC right now because the low end laptop, the specs weren't enough. Basically, I couldn't get a compatible version for the laptop. So I tried it on my eBay PC just for something, but it just doesn't seem to work. If you have used FidoS out there, definitely get in touch and let me know what I can do to try and even get this thing running because it just doesn't work for me. Ah, we haven't had much luck in this video, have we? So guys, it looks like we can't do it. So instead, I've resorted to playing classic.minecraft.net, which is basically Minecraft, but within your web browser. It's really laggy and it's really slow. I don't think this laptop ran this badly when we had Windows 10 on here. And we just played minecraft regularly look at it it's so the latency on it is so bad i can't see my arm so i'm just like walking around which is really weird so yeah i mean let me know if you're old enough to remember when minecraft was a browser only game i'm sure there's probably not that many of you out there to be honest i started playing minecraft probably when it was in 1.6 stage but even that's considered old now for people joining the community nowadays but yeah, let me know in the comments section down below how I can fix this on my laptop. It would be nice to be able to get Linux support on Chrome OS Flex so I can install Minecraft and loads of other programs. It just doesn't seem to want to work. I've tried restarting and that's given me a cool little uh, update to the Chrome OS. So now all my stuff is kind of here. Whereas before it was like in the middle when there was like a launch pad screen. But yeah, I don't really know what else to do really. There's all of this stuff that you can do on Chrome OS. And yeah, it's just really good for breathing new life into old computers. 
So say if you needed a laptop to do some quick work on, but you only had like a really old one and it was really slow and you couldn't do anything, then just install Chrome OS Flex on it and you're good to go basically. It's really, really speedy. So now I can actually open up my Linux settings, which I guess is an improvement over how it was before, but still no Linux terminal, so I can't do any commands or anything. I can interestingly change how it looks, which is quite cool using these settings here. But yeah, I can't seem to access the terminal and it's really annoying. I've tried turning off the Linux development environment. I've tried turning it on again, but there's no way I don't think we're going to get Linux to work on here unless we just straight up install Linux. I know a lot of people out there want me to try Arch Linux and that is something that's going to take me literally hours to work out how to even install. So let me know in the comments section down below if you want to see Arch Linux on this computer. But yeah, we haven't really answered the question in this video, and that is, can you game on Chrome OS Flex? And right now, the short answer is no. I can't seem to get it to work. There are other Chrome OS Flex forks that are out there. I did try and install FidoS, but it's just not supported on this system. I think the specs are just too low, so that's a bit annoying. I tried it on my low-end eBay PC as well, and that didn't work. So yeah, this is basically what we're stuck with. Good old Minecraft online. And unfortunately, there is no Minecraft on Stadia, so we can't do any kind of cloud gaming or anything on this thing. I'm sure we could play Roblox or something if we really wanted to on here. Okay. Is this it? You just walk along. It's like, Mom, can we get Minecraft? We've got Minecraft at home, and this is Minecraft at home. <laughs> Look at this, paper Minecraft. What are you even meant to do? Wow, we've finished a level. Is there meant to be like obstacles or something? Because this is easy. Honestly, I don't know what this video has become. <laughs> I'm probably going to end it off there, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how I can try and get Linux working on this computer. And I'll definitely make a part two follow-up video on this thing. It's a bit of a shame, really, because I've been quite impressed with my Chrome OS Flex experience. It's really short and snappy. And it runs basically just like a Chromebook. So I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you've checked out Chrome OS Flex before in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.